Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's DIYs are all strawberry themed and this is one of my favorites. So let's start with DIY number 1. For this DIY, I'm going to use one of this home sign that I got from Dollar Tree and also this uh, beaded wreath that was during Christmas, I believe, and I'm going to use that as well. To start, I'm going to take a little bit of this antique wax and I mix a little bit of a water and I'm going to give a thin coat all over the back part of this home shadow box and even on the roof and the sides and I let it dry. After it's dried, I'm just dry brushing with this stencil brush uh, with this white chalk paint all over to give like a nice distressed look there. And I got this beautiful blender travel case in a strawberry shape and I'm painting this with a red chalk paint on both sides. I think I'm going to use only one side where the leaves are there. Now I have this uh, beautiful wreath like I showed in the beginning. I'm taking a like, generous amount of hot glue just in one side and I'm just sticking onto this painter surface of the home. Now I also have to stick this beautiful uh, strawberry and I'm just taking generous amount of hot glue again all over and I'm just taking the strawberry in the center. To give those spiky thorns on strawberry, I am just trying to put with this white marker dots all over but they were not bright enough for me so I just took some of this white acrylic paint and using back part of the skewer I am just you know placing dots all over the strawberry now they are bright enough for me I am happy with the look so now I am also going to take some of this dainty greenery from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing like three to four pieces on top of the wreath just like so and I'm also going to stick one of the gingham red gingham bow with the ribbon I just twisted one or two curls with the hot glue in the center and I'm just going to place it on top of the greenery just like so and I'm also going to attach one white flower to finish the look how cute this whole strawberry look turned out strawberry is such a beautiful and bright colored fruit that looks really gorgeous and the gingham bow and the white and green they are so gorgeous i'm so happy with the end result of this diy i hope you would like it as well i would love to hear your thoughts on this though This DIY would be part of Summer Look Off The Hook collab and this is hosted by CJ or CJ DIY. Another host is Christine from DIY Craftaholic and Jackie over Crafting in Mimi's World. I'm going to link the channels of these ladies in my description box as well as the huge playlist. Please enjoy the playlist and give lots of love. Let's move on to DIY number two. For this day, I'm going to take one of this beautiful white tropical sign. I'm removing this burlap hanger and I'm also going to paint these beads. So I also wanted to paint the inner part because the border is already having a white color painted already. So I'm just going to paint the inner part with this white chalk paint. And I think it needs a couple of coats to basically cover the design. And while it is drying, I have this strawberry piece from one of the wall hanging and I just painted the center with the red chalk paint and the leaves with the green paint. Now this uh, shadow box has dried. Now I'm actually distressing with some antique wax to give like a little distressed look there and those two beads I'm just inserting into the skewer and painting with this red chalk paint and while that is drying I'm going to put this dotted lines in a uh, you know, strategic fashion. But these dots are not bright enough. I'm also going to, you know, repaint with the same method uh, like I did before with the white acrylic paint. Uh, with the using back part of the skewer, I'm going to, you know, highlight those dots again. I used the same jute card and inserted through the hole of the shadow box and inserted those two painted uh, beads and I knotted through the other end to give like a nice hanger. I'm also going to, you know, decorate with a bow later. 
and I wanted to stick strawberry just like that so I took one of this uh, square bead and I stuck to the shadow box and I'm taking a little bit of a hot glue and I'm sticking this painted strawberry on top of it now I selected some of these wooden letters and this is also from Dollar Tree and I spelled it out sweet using this red gingham ribbon I created a small bow and I'm also ducktailing the corners and I twisted the center with some of this red and white uh, baker's twine in the center using a little bit of a hot glue I'm going to stick in between those two red beads just like that and this calls it done isn't that a cute sweet strawberry sign and I love the end result of it you guys I hope you would like it as well let's move on to DIY number three for this day why I'm going to use one of this wooden home sign I just pulled off this pink flower and I'm going to paint this uh, with white chalk paint all over I think it took like two to three coats to get to get like a nice coverage and I let it dry while that is drying I'm just taking one of this tag sign and I'm trying to draw a strawberry it's basically a heart shape without the curve on the top and you have to have like the edge the bottom part little not too sharp and that gives like a beautiful strawberry see how this turned out it's easy so I just took some of this red chalk paint and I'm going to paint one part of it the back part won't be visible if you want you can also paint the back part as well but I did not and I took one of this fern leaf and I took the center part to give like a strawberry leaf effect there and I'm also going to take the other part on top to give like the top part of the strawberry you know what I mean right so I'm also going to take a couple of leaves on either side to give like a nice strawberry top and I'm taking like generous amount of hot glue and sticking where the O is to give like a home sign where the strawberry is stuck on the O and I'm also taking this red and white Baker's twine I'm just twisting a couple of times through my hand and I'm just knotting it down and one side where I knotted I'm just going to trim it to give like a cute finger bow and this finger bow would be on top of the greenery to give like a nice beautiful look now this strawberry needs some dots on it so I'm going to use this white marker and I'm going to dot it alternately to give like a nice strawberry look there and I actually dotted like three or four times to get like nice bright white dots there isn't this cute I just love the white and red combination it's so bright and beautiful it makes me so happy you guys and this is one of the cute sign I'm very much happy with I hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts let's move on to DIY number four for this DIY I'm going to use one of this cute candy wrapper and this is one of these candies that you can get in Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this uh, wrapper I'm going to trim off those letters where you have and now it looks like a strawberry background so I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut in the shape of a strawberry like curving the red part like that and I'm also going to trim on the green part just like that now it gave me like a two strawberry shapes now I'm going to cut in the center to give like a two strawberries just like that now I also have this pearl up fabric you can also use the pearl up ribbon that's available in Dollar Tree and I'm just folding it into five folds and I'm going to cut into five pieces just like this now I'm also going to you know cut the bottom part in the V shape to give like a nice flag effect there and I'm taking generous amount of Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the back part of the wrapper and also the back part of the fabric, uh, burlap fabric and I'm going to press it with the iron trust me I just tried this trick I was kind of skeptical about this plastic wrapper sticking to the fabric so I took one of this baking sheet and I just had this flag in the center and then I'm just pressing with the heat uh, iron and then it worked like a charm you guys you should try this trick and this baking sheet is such a great trick and see how cute that 
it looks like as though i printed the strawberry on top of this pearl of fabric now i took this uh, jute twine and i'm just taking a little bit of a hot glue and i'm sticking on back of this uh, jute twine and i'm going to give like an equidistance of all these flags and i'm going to stick all five of them and i'll show you how it turned out now this is a not enough for me i thought like i should also add some of this gingham ribbon pieces as a bow so i just took like uh five pieces actually four pieces of this gingham ribbon and i just took a little bit of a hot glue in the center and i stuck it on in between all all the flags you see what i mean <laughs> so this is cute banner i never tried doing banners and this is my first time making banner and i'm very happy that i tried and it worked out so this is one of it that i'm very much happy with i hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts these are some of my social media handles if you'd like to connect with me and let's move on to diy number five the final diy let's make a cute tag sign for strawberries and this is one of the tags that i got from dollar tree recently and it has like a beaded garland so i'm just taking all these beads out and i'm going to paint uh, four of them with this white chalk paint and uh, four of them with this red chalk paint i just inserted them into a skewer and i painted red and white like i showed and let it dry and i'm also taking some of this rub on stickers which has form fresh letters on it and i neatly rubbed those letters now i also took some of this smart patch to seal these letters and i gave like one or two coats and i let it dry while that is drying i also worked on uh, those strawberries where i showed you in the previous project with the cardboard pieces i just created two more strawberries in two different sizes and i applied the same method i gave like a red paint and white painted dots uh, to give like a strawberry design on it and I also inserted all these red and white beads in alternate fashion and I took some of this uh, baker's twine and I created a cute tassel and I'm going to attach this tassel towards the end of this garland and I'm also going to give like a gingham uh, uh, bow actually I took like a small piece of a gingham ribbon and I created a cute bow and i'm also going to attach this bow on top of this tassel using hot glue just like so and i also took one of this red flower with a white bead in the center on top of the bow now i'm taking these two painted strawberries and i'm generously applying the hot glue and i'm placing these strawberries just below the farm fresh letters and i'm also going to attach some greenery on top of these strawberries to give like a nice natural look to it and yeah this calls it done i just love the end result of this cute tag sign adding to all the collection strawberry collection today i hope you would like it as well please let me know your thoughts on this as well These are some of the bright and beautiful strawberry decor DIYs that I want to share with you all today. I hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me. If you like any of these ideas and you would like to join the family, I would be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join. And also please don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get updates when I upload videos like this. And I want to take a minute to thank all of you for the kindest and sweetest comments that I am reading and it makes me really happy and for being the greatest support that you've been always. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Until next time, if you'd like to see some of my videos, I'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen. And like I always say, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you again. Thank you.